Let's graph y equals 2x plus 1. This equation is written in what we call slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And you can see here that m, the slope, is 2, and b, the y-intercept, is positive 1. b represents the point along the y-axis, that's the up-down axis, where the line crosses it. Here it's going to cross at positive 1, that's one unit above where the x-axis is, but it's at positive 1 on the up-down or y-axis. Then we have a slope of 2. A slope of 2 represents 2 over 1, but when you divide something by 1, it stays the same. So 2 is 2 over 1, and what that means is you will rise 2 and run 1. This means you are going up 2 and to the right by 1. You may have learned the formula for slope being rise over run, or delta y over delta x. It's how far up you're going, and then also how far to the right you go at the same time. So from this y-intercept that we already plotted, we are going to go up two points, 1, 2, and to the right, 1. Then from that point, we do the same thing, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. Now you can also backtrack by doing the opposite in both directions. That would be down 2 and left 1, down 2 and left 1, down 2 and left 1. Lots of teachers like to see you fill up the entire grid if you can, and then you're supposed to use a ruler, which, well, I have this box of pencils I can use to draw a nice straight line that goes through all of the points. If a ruler or straight edge did not go through all of the points you drew, then you may have just counted wrong for one of them. Go back and check. Up 2 over 1, up 2, right 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 1. I did it right, and that's why the straight line went through all of the points exactly. There you go. 2x plus 1 starts at 1 on the y-axis and has a slope of positive 2. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.